everybody. It's Lisa. I'm about ready to start another part of, um, I guess the second part of my pockets, making my, um, my, my um, tags that goes into my pockets. And I got kind of a really cool um, way of doing this. I thought it was kind of interesting. And uh, so anyway, let's get started. All right. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to be making tags that look like these. And these, I'll show you exactly where, how I did these. And, and we're going to decorate them. Put a hole in it. This one doesn't have a hole in it yet. Put a hole in it. Put some lace in it, whatever we're going to do. And um, I'll show you how we're going to do these. Because these are going to go fitting into these. I'm going to make, I'll show you how I made these and these fit into these pockets. Like this. And then we're going to put some paper on the back of these as for journaling on the back. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me clear this off here real quick. I'll show you what I did. I'll leave these here. So anyway, what I did was I, you know, you, you know when you're looking in magazines and you see like, um, you know, things that are like um, an application or something like that, that, or a, like an order form, something like that. And, um, and you just tear it out. And this was, this was something that I got from a magazine. I actually said, I just tore it out this stuff of magazine because I thought this was interesting. I thought I could use it in my junk journals. And, and so what I did for, for this, this is the same as this. So what I did was I, I went ahead and I put it through my printer and when I put it through, I put it through first on the a heavier paper, like this one here, a heavier cardstock, because I think it's it works better when it's heavier instead of just plain, um, you know, um, paper, or I mean, copy paper. So, and what I did was I had some other paper that I got from, um, that I got from, you know, those old scrapbooks, the old, old kind um, that people used to use to... Uh, to put their notes and stuff in. Well, my husband found one of those at a garage sale for like 50 cents, whatever. And so I took the pages out and these are like old looking vintage <laughs> paper. So what I did was I cut the edge off of this was because this was where it was hooked into the book app. And I used this to copy. I put this in my printer to copy this onto it. So, so when I did it, um, it came out looking like this. And I just, I'm loving that. That looks just so nice. So, so actually from this, this picture went to this and it just looks so good on this paper. But of course, if you don't have this paper, of course, um, you can just use that heavier cardstock that I have. And I'll have to get the brand. I'm not sure. It's a Georgia Pacific, um, 150, let's see, 110 weight um, paper. So I do want to take these and make some tags out of these for my pockets. I'm gonna move my pockets back over here. And so, so here's what we did last, one of the times, the other times that we were on and, and we had a blast doing these. These were just fantastically fun. So I'm gonna put these on the side here and show you what I'm gonna do with this. So I'm gonna actually use, use this as my template to do, to actually um, trace on here for, for these. And so um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trace these on the back of here like this. It's kind of like this. It's kind of uneven, but that's okay. I'm going to grab a pen right here. I'm just going to trace around it. And I, I rounded the corners already on this one. So I just want to that. And I make three of these for each pocket. And this one, I stick the might be a this one might be a little bit thinner than the rest, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna work out just perfectly fine. Um, so we're gonna do that. Next, I'm gonna cut them out. Thank you. 
And then I have some old pictures here and some flowers and some things that we can use to decorate them with. And you know, you can use anything you, that you find that you want to use. Whatever you use, it's going to be it's going to look great no matter what. It's just really going to look great. Um, because it's going to look wonderful because you made it by hand. The people are really going to appreciate you that you took the time and did that. And this one, this one, I'm just going to cut on the line here. I think it looks. But you could use any kind of thing like this. I just thought that this paper was just so interesting to use for tags that I decided to do that. And I just kind of rounded the corners on all of them. on this one too. Okay. Yeah, I got my I got my three tanks. It's like this. Put this one to the side. And then oh and I want to make sure all of my corners are, are rounded. So I notice that not all of them are let me get my other scissors. The rounding scissors. My little scissors. So what's everyone been everyone been doing lately I hope having fun enjoying your weekend I went garage sailing today and had a blast I'm gonna share on one of my next videos what I got from my garage sailing I was just hit the jackpot on many of them today so okay so we got those and I'm thinking now we get to decorate so and then we're going to be decorating for, I'm trying to get this centered here, for some different pockets that we did here. And I did these, I did, um, oh, let me move these out of the way. So these are the three pockets that I did. And, I, and I'm sure you guys have probably seen my videos on these. If you haven't, it's the other video that I did called Collage, um, Collaging Pockets. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out one. Do this one first. That one first. And then I gotta pick out one of the tags that I wanted to use for it. Um, I'll just pick out this one. It doesn't really matter which one I do. And then I wanted to, to make some pictures that, you know, kind of go with it. But they don't have to totally go with it. Um, what did I, I was looking through these before and I was kind of thinking that I would probably put maybe like a couple on here like an older couple or something um I did my scissors out there my scissors. Okay. I thought about putting this on maybe here and then I have some flowers here that I like to add to the side of it let's see and that one Maybe Here, let me cut around the edges of this picture. Now you can get your pictures in magazines, um, old books, things like that. And I just collect them, and I mostly get them out of magazines. And I just, I just collect them and use them for when I'm doing my junk journals, and they look pretty good. This one I might put on there. And I want to put a flower or something under it. So it's going to go in this one here. Maybe like. didn't want to cover up that date because I think it looks really neat. Um, let's see. You know what? I think I might use a different picture. I think I kind of like, I kind of like this little girl. She's really cute on here. And, uh, looks like 
she's doing some flowers. Hmm. Actually, see, she's a picture of her when she was shaking someone's hand, <laughs> and I'm trying to cover it. Let's see, how about, how about that? We'll do that. Maybe like this. Do her like this. Just trying to get it right on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it on. So I went um, and got my hair cut, which was needed to be done a long time ago, and uh, went in. I went into the great clips over there and then the lady that cut my hair her name was um, Beth she was pretty nice and she she kind of was telling me some some interesting stuff about um, my hair because she she liked the way my hair was the the texture of it and how it was wavy and she liked to work with that she's what she said and so she goes do you mind if I um, donate some of your hair and I said sure and um, she says it's called wigs for kids, and they, the the hair that they get, they actually donate it to actually make wigs free for kids that have cancer, or, or things like that. And um, and I was telling her about that my brother did locks of love. He grew his hair out for locks of love, and she said that the only difference between the difference between the kids, the wigs for kids, and the locks of love, is that the locks of love. You, they make them in the, the the people buy the wigs, but through wigs for kids, um, they they make the wigs free for the kids. So I figured it was a pretty darn good little thing to um, to give to. So that's where my hair's going. <laughs> so I just want to let you know, and I'm gonna be putting in the description box um, the the name of wigs for kids in there because I thought if you know, if anybody wants to donate, I thought it would be a kind of a neat idea to put that in there to share with anybody who's interested. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then I, and I um, but anyway, it's been it's been good. It's been a very nice weather, nice week, and uh, so anyway. So let's go ahead and I'll put this on. Let's see, I'm trying to get it. Like that. Okay. I like it. I like how I like it. it looks really cute. It looks really good. I like that little girl. She's so cute. I got it at this out of a magazine, this picture. And then we're gonna get go ahead and clip the top. Put a hole in the top of it for when we're gonna string it. That right there. Just try to make it as even as possible. But if not, that's fine. If you can't get it perfectly even or anything. And then, um, I'd like to also, on here, put, I meant to do this earlier, and I didn't, I wasn't able to put this on. I'm thinking about, instead of where that hole is, instead of making that hole, I think I should have just covered it with this, because, um, I needed to, well, let me look and see, I'm gonna get, see if I can find some of my ribbon over here that I can use, put in the top. Here's some, I got some ribbon here that I'm going to put through the top. Oh, and here's a piece, it's already cut. So I'm going to just, there's like two layers here, so I'm going to just rip that off there. And then on these, what I do is I take it and I put it through the hole like this. And then I got these two ends. I'll probably just trim these a little bit. I kind of trim at an angle, so I think it looks nice. Try to get them even at the edges, even like this. Come through. I noticed I, you know, I didn't ink the edges on this, 
and I might just ink the edges of the card itself but not the pictures that are going in it because I, I don't know if I need to really need it to do that. And what I do is I pull it like this and then I take these two and I tie it and I spread it out so it looks like it's spread out like that. And that's how I'm going to do these on here. This looks really cute. Sometimes I even put like a little bead of glue, you know, on the bottom to hold it if I want it to look, to stay out straight or something like that. But you know what, I'm fine with that. And then on the back, I'm going to take a piece of paper, this, and I'm going to, um, and let's see, I'm going to fold this in half. And then... So that it fits inside of this, um, the back of this uh, tag. I'm just gonna cut it right on the way there, and that's as big as I want to do it. And I'm gonna ink the edges on this with, you know, the name of it, the stress ink, the vintage photo. Of course, I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead. And edges on this. Inking it up. I'm, I love doing inking. It's really fun to do. And it makes it look old. And that's mainly what we're going to do here. And then the inside edges. This is the part of it that makes it look old. So. This is kind of a, a waxy edge on this. It's kind of a waxy feeling. Um, okay. Now we're going to take it and we're going to, now for this, the glue I'm going to use, I'm not going to use um, this. And this is the um, self adhesive tape, the two sided tape. I'm going to put this on here on the edge because uh, it holds better um, it holds better in the book it holds it together better than the glue does and I like I like how it, it seals it down pretty good and I put it on each end like this Just like that. and then I'm gonna glue these on Taking the tapes off right now. Taking them off. And then I just want to put it on the inside of the tag, just like this. So it looks like that. And then when you turn it over, it opens up. You can write in your journaling in there, just like that. And then you're going to take your pocket, this one. And it's just going to go right in here, right in there, like that. And then, so you have a book page that you want to put it on. You would glue it on, just like this. Just these edges, glue it on. And then just put your, your tag in there. And you have journaling. Isn't that sweet? That looks so good. Looks like I like that. I like that little girl. She's so cute. So, there's one. Now I got a few more to do. Two more to do. So I need to make one for this. And here is my choices. Um, I think I'll use this one. This one. Put in this pocket. 
so I want something that will look, you know, I'm thinking I'll put these people on this one instead. I think that, that looks like that would match. So it would match the pocket a little bit better with this one. And I'll put these people on. And then I'm going to pick out a flower over here. What to look good with these guys. And I'm thinking either this or maybe this. I don't think that works very good. Let's see how that. Um, what about if I did something like this and put these guys here or on the top like this? is put some music pages behind this because it needs something I think behind it to unmatch it a little different. Let's find my um, music paper down here. Uh, let's see. Okay. I gotta dig out my, <laughs> my music papers here. Let's see if I can put some some music sheets in here. Oh, I hear someone's right here. <laughs> I'm gonna take out a piece of this music paper, and what I'm thinking about is making it piece. I'm just gonna rip it. Under here, I'm gonna about putting it. I'll just try to rip it further. Put this in here. on this. Junk journaling made easy. I try to use, make it in the simplest way I can without using any digi kits or anything, just mainly things that you would find at home. What I'm trying, that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, and uh, I think glue that on right here. So, and I'm, uh, I've been just so blessed with this friend, um, Mary Kay. She does Mary Kay's Artful Journey, and she has just been such a blessing to me. She's you know, we've been getting together and talking, and she loves junk journaling, and I love junk journaling, and it's just been just a blast. Just been a blast. So if you ever want to, she does a she does her live show, and you know, if you ever wanted to um, join her live show, uh, she has people that that she talks to on there, and it's more of a social time, a little bit. I mean, she does junk journaling, don't get me wrong, she does a really great job, too. And and she, um, she does junk journaling, and but she talks a lot on there, and, you know, does a lot of, you know, um, visiting and, and stuff, and it's just a real fun show, you know, and she's, she's really sweet and really funny. So you just have a blast. We just laugh the whole time when we're together. So, but she is, she is honestly just a beautiful person, just inside and out. She's a real, a real live, wonderful, she's just a wonderful lady. So, okay, that looks good. I'm going to just glue, um, 
this picture on. So the picture. And I'm just gonna I'm just going the edges. Just the edges. Okay. I kinda like think it looks good with a little bit of the um, the music paper on the back of it. Looks kinda good. So here's blue this down. And I hit it so big on the garage sales today. I got doilies. I got um, some books. I got lots of fun stuff to go through. And so, and I'm going to show it to you guys when I get, um, there, put it on there. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to poke a hole on top of this one too. Down a little bit. And I'm going to put the other side of that ribbon on here. This was the side that I tore off earlier. I want to put that on the same way that I did the other one. Through here. And uh, put it through the, kind of push it through like that and pull it that and then tie it. This one's kind of long. I don't know if I might I don't know. I might trim it. I'm not sure if I'm going to trim it or not. But isn't that pretty? And then on the back of this one, I'm going to put some paper on it too. But I'm going to use, for this one, I'm going to use this ledger paper for this one. And I think what I'm going to do is just going to trace it right on here. Um, because I want it to be like the length. Let's see, maybe the length of it. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to hold it up cut it. I think I can do it. I can do it. And then let's see, go across here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this off right here. I'm not gonna glue this on the back of it as a journaling space. So I'm going to show you three different ways of doing the journaling spaces on the back of these cards. So this one is going to be, I'm going to just, um, make round the corners a little bit. And I don't, it does not matter to me if those are perfect or not. So I'm going to glue this on. I kind of like this side better. Yeah, glue that on like that. Here I'm gonna go. Glue it on. Glue it. I really like this fine gluing um, bottle because I can it's got a very thin 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 layer which I really like. I think it looks it really looks looks nice. It really makes it nice. So okay and I'm gonna just try to get this as even as I can. That's a little bit uneven but it's not a big deal. Okay. And then I'm gonna go on the top to see if there's any excess that I can cut off. Cut off the edges. Make sure it's nice and straight. <laughs> and this one I forgot to ink it, but I'll do it right now. And I'm going to just... I'll own the front, too. These are really going by really quick, actually. These are nice. Do it. It's gonna look beautiful. 
but I'm loving it. I'm loving these little things are coming out pretty cute. Really, they really are coming out nice. So we got this, and then here's the pocket. Here's the pocket that, for this tag. like that and then when you pull it out it's like this you pull it out it's like that and that's your journaling in the back kind of nice I like that one okay so now we got two down and we got one more to go and this is one more for this one this was like the third one I did on my video and of course I'm going to use this tag for this one and I think about what I'm going to do this one. Now I thought about since since it has the U.S. Postal, it's kind of interesting. I'm thinking about maybe I have a I have this here that I thought was kind of could look kind of neat on here because it's part of the postal. I mean it has the United States of America on it. And then I thought of this too. I'm not sure. I thought of that having this. I like that picture it's on there. I thought of this maybe and then maybe a flower or something I don't know let me see I like yellow I think the yellow would look nice I'm not sure how I want to do it yet let's see what do I like what do I like what do I like like that I think that looks kind of good I should put a person on here too. I think I think that looks good. I think I'll do that. And I'm gonna ink the edges of this thing. I really want this to look old because it doesn't look old enough. It's got a it doesn't look vintage enough. I got this out of a magazine. And when I seen it, I thought, wow, I gotta have that. So I think what I'm gonna do is just make it darker. All of the white on it, make it a little bit darker because I don't like it that way. It's too bright. I, I want it to look older. So I'm just gonna do that. And then see, it looks like it blends a little bit better on there. And so, let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. Down real quick. 